Watch you guys got another video here for you on the Retan Alloy 9 Mini PC. I believe this is simply the best mini PC you can buy in 2024. The specs on this one are pretty decent. As you can see here, we have a Ryzen 9 processor in here, also one terabyte of storage, and also we do have 32 gigabytes of RAM. This is everything you get inside the box. You're going to get your power cable here, and this will determine what country you're in. You'll get different cables. You'll get your HDMI cable here, and we also have our power brick, little power adapter here. And you can see this one is 19 volts, 6.3 amps, and 119.7 watts total output on this particular power adapter. You're also going to get your warranty cards and your user manual and stuff like that here. And you also get the mini PC itself, which we'll take a closer look at in more detail right now. So on the front of the mini PC itself, we do have the reset button here. And we have that audio jack here on there. And we have USB 4 ports on the front, two of those with Type-C connection. And we have our power button here as well. Now, the two front USB ports can be used for 4K 60 Hertz monitors as well. So you can have two from the front and you can also have two on the rear. On the side here, we have some ventilation. And on the other side, we have also some more ventilation right here. So let's move on to the back of the unit itself. This is where all the ports are. So on the back, we have up the very top, we have the exhaust fan here. And we also have four USB 3.2 Gen 2 uh, ports on here. And also we have that RJ45 2.5 gigabit uh, Ethernet port on there as well with two HDMI ports. These are 2.1 uh, ports, uh, which means you can have two more monitors here. And we have the 19 volt input for the power. Inside the actual mini PC here, we have a fan here and a heat sink, and we have some crucial memory here. And also there is a Kingston uh, drive in here. I'm not going to remove all of this heat sink and stuff here, but this, if you wanted to, there's four screws here, which will give you access to inside here for the memory and also for the drives. If you wanted to upgrade the drives as well, you can do with this particular unit. This is a one terabyte drive in here. I'll show you the speeds of it a little bit later on in the video. So the Retan uh, Alloy 9 Mini PC has a Ryzen 9 7940HS processor in there with 32 gigabytes of RAM and also one terabyte SSD. That's eight cores and 16 threads, 16 megabytes of cache, up to 5.2 uh, gigahertz on full boost. AMD Radeon 780M graphics with 2.8 gigahertz, equipped with AMD Ryzen AI technology. Also, we have the... DDR5, 5600 megahertz, dual channel of memory in here because there's 32 gigabytes crucial memory installed. We also have one terabyte Kingston uh, drive in here, pre-installed with Windows 11 Pro OS. That can also have other operating systems installed like Linux if you want to. Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth at 5.3. Two of the HDMI ports do support 4K at 60 hertz and two USB 4 ports support 8K at 60 hertz as well on here so you can have a total of four monitors okay so let's do some benchmarks here with geek bench six and we'll run a benchmark here i want to show you the temperatures on here and this is why i think it's probably one of the best mini pcs out there because at the moment you can see here there is no temperature issues whatsoever when you're running any sort of benchmarks and you're putting this under full load you can see here the temperatures are not going very high at all and there's also no thermal throttling or any issues like that uh, or any power issues uh, which I've seen on other mini PCs. This is simply probably one of the best I've seen so far for this particular type of test. I'll also do Cinebench here for you as well and test that with the thermals, just so you can see uh, that there is no issues when I was running these. And a lot of the mini PCs that I've tested when I run Cinebench, they start to get really super hot. So on the single core score, there was 2,699 and on the multi-core score was 13,549 on the multi-core. So let's take a look at the GPU here now. We'll run a GPU benchmark test on here so you can get the score and that is OpenCL score of 33,407. So not too shabby for a mini PC. Let's go ahead and take a look at Cinebench here. And I'm going to run this. Now, this is the one that really does tax a lot of mini PCs. And you can see it's sticking at around 73 Celsius. No problems whatsoever. No thermal throttling. No power issues or anything like that like I've seen on other 
many PCs that I've tested. And again, 74C here and still no thermal throttling or no issues at all. So really, really good from a Retan. And to me, that's one of the most important uh, things is to have a nice running cool uh, mini PC because obviously if you're getting temperature issues, it's not good. So you can see a maximum temp of 78.1 here once it gets to the full uh, end of this, 78.4 in the end. And the score was 16,705 on the CPU multi-core score. Let's go ahead and do the single core score here and I'll give you the results on that as well. So that was 1,810 on the uh, single core score. So not too bad really. And the overall score was 1,810 on the rankings there, as you can see down on the bottom left. So as you can see, I did a crystal disk info and it told me that there was a Kingston drive inside here, one terabyte. And this can be upgraded as well if you need more uh, storage or need a larger drive. You can do that also by removing that heatsink once you've removed the bottom plate. Very simple and easy to do. There's only four screws holding that in. And I also want to do a quick benchmark with this as well. So we can see the sequential reads and writes you can see are 4056.64 for the reads. And the writes are 3262.68. And you can see the other scores on there as well. You can pause the screen and read those at your own leisure. But pretty impressive uh, for a mini PC. So let's go ahead and move on to some other tests. And you can see how it performs. So the next test I want to do is some... Uh, 4k video playback so let's go ahead and run jellyfish here and this one is quite a tough file to run for a lot of machines it's called jellyfish 400 mbps a 4k ultra hd hevc 10-bit file so we'll run this and we'll see how it fares i can also skip this to see how long it takes to catch up and you can see it just freezes for a second and straight away it plays straight away silky smooth playback pretty impressive so this will be able to play all your multimedia and stuff like that. If you want to run Plex on here, you could run this as a Plex server if you wanted to. No problems whatsoever. It's great for video editing and also great for photo editing as well because obviously it has that Ryzen 9 processor. I'm just going to run some 4K video playback at 60 hertz. And you can see here, this is true 4K at 60 hertz. We're not getting any drop frames at all. There's only a few once it starts. There's nine drop frames there. But that's nothing because it doesn't affect the playback. That normally happens once you start playing the video. But once you start playing, it stabilizes. There is no drop frames there. So pretty impressive on 4K playback if you're looking for some sort of 4K playback uh, little box here. Gameplay, again, you can do your retro gaming and things like that. You can also play some uh, AAA listed games on here as well if you wanted to. Although I don't advise people to buy these for AAA listed games, although it can play them. Some of them, it will have to be played at 720p and some you can play at 1080p. But these retro games, it will play these no problems whatsoever. So if you're into retro games like these, you can just play these on your mini PC with no issues whatsoever. And you can play these at upscaled resolutions as well. So you get some really nice playback on these. So as you can see, a pretty impressive mini PC. It does everything you need it to do. And this could actually replace your main desktop PC as long as you're not looking to do, say, 1080p uh, AAA listed games all the time because it doesn't have a dedicated GPU in here. But again, you could uh, do an eGPU on this one as well using one of the front ports there. Now, these mini PCs are not cheap. But you are talking about bleeding edge technology. You're talking about a Ryzen 9 processor in here, 32 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM with super fast speeds and also a one terabyte of storage on here. So it should do everything you need it to do. It's got Wi-Fi at 6E, like I mentioned already. So again, you've got everything you pretty much need out of a mini PC. Anyway, I think I'm going to wrap this one up. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. I'll be happy to read your thoughts on this mini PC. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the very next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.